Here we go again. We are back, baby. B. Thumbnail. I am back with an empties video and girl, do I have some empties for you? I know that empties is like such an old YouTube video, like honestly 2016 YouTube was when empties used to slap like I would sit and watch like a two hour long empties video. Like tell me everything. Tell me every single product that you've used. Let me see it. I wanna know the ins and outs of every single thing. Like I would just watch, I would watch those videos for hours. Empties and favorites are where it was at. I would watch those videos for hours. So I'm bringing back the empties. Empties are gonna be a thing in 2024. And if they're not, comment down below and tell me that they're cringe and not stop. But you know what? I love an empties video. I wanna know what products are people using? What are they loving? What did they not love but they used because they'd spent the dough? And yeah, so I'm gonna share it with you all today. Also, can we talk about the fact that this is the first time I feel like I've ever done a cute claw clip in my life. Like, well, I think it looks cute. Does it not look cute? I feel like everyone on TikTok, all of the girlies make the claw clip look so easy. They just like bang it up, bang the clip in like on the way to the gym. And I'm like, how have you done that? I put it on and I either look Bald or like a palm tree. I mean, granted, I do look like a bald palm tree right now, but I think I might have done it. Quick sip of Rooney. Also, why is this mug literally, well, it's not the same size as my head. I hate when people say that. Why is this the same size as my head? And it's like not the same size as their head, but it is ginormous. Like it's bigger than my palm. It is a ginormous mug. Whenever I have a drink in one of these, I literally make half of like the size of the mug because I'd be bouncing off the walls if I had a coffee this size. Like I literally wouldn't sleep for a week. Let's get on with the good stuff. These are things that I've accumulated over the course of months. Obviously if it's a big product, I haven't used it in two days. I, let me tell you, I'm gonna be honest. I'm a stingy girl. If I spend the money on something, if I don't hate it, like unless it's like breaking me out or like really causing problems, even if I don't love it, I'm still gonna use it. I've spent the money. I'm not gonna throw it in the bin. I will not throw anything out. My boyfriend always laughs at me because I will literally not throw anything out. Like I could have a top that has like holes in it that I've had since I was 10 and he'd be like, that needs to go in the bin. And I'd be like, no, it either needs to be worn. I can wear it, I can like recycle it. I'll give it to the charity shop or I'll sell it. And he'd be like, you can't sell it. It's literally like a raggy t-shirt. And I'd be like, it's not going in the bin. Like I do not throw anything out. I don't like to waste money, so. That's that. Let's get into it, shall we? First things first, Garnier Micellar Water. I will never not use Garnier Micellar Water. If anyone out there is telling you that Garnier Micellar Water is not good for you, I'm here to tell you that it is, and that it's the GOAT, and I will never not use Garnier Micellar Water. I think this has been in every single one of my empties that I've ever done. I'll never not use it. It is the perfect way to clean your face when you can't be bothered putting the water on, splashing your face, getting water all down your elbows, the whole yada yada yada. Garnier Micellar Water will save the day. And I specifically love this one because it's the Rose Water. Is that gonna focus? The Rose Water Cleansing Glow. It gives your skin a little glow, it gives your skin a little sheen, and it just, it does the job. I wouldn't recommend using this on a night time. On a night time, I would properly go in and cleanse my face because you know I've been out in the world, like with the dirt. But on a morning, when all I've been doing is sleeping on my gorgeous clean silk pillowcase, my face doesn't need a wash. It just needs the Garnier Micellar Water Rose Glow. And these giant ones are great value for money, last you ages, and it's just a goat. It just really is. Okay, while we're on it, apparently I also love the Garnier Rose Cleansing Milk. So this is more of like a cleanser. Like this is a water and this is like a thick cleanser, like almost like a moisturizer consistency. Also gorgeous, also lovely for a clean on the morning because it's moisturising. If you've got dry skin, I would actually recommend this over this because that can be a little bit drying. Whereas this, because it's a cleansing milk, it's basically a moisturiser consistency. But again, also gorgeous, also will never not use. It's just the perfect way to wash your face on a morning without going in with a harsh cleanser on a morning. You just need this. You just need this in your life. Okay, what else have we got? Sticking with the skincare theme, again, this has always been in my empties and will always be in my empties. I see this product getting a lot of hate in the skincare world, is that a thing? The skincare online community? I don't know. But I see you getting a lot of hate, but I really love it. If you look at the ingredients, where is it? Me, 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 me. To be fair, it has got a lot of shit in it. 
I was just about to be like, if you look at the ingredients, it's all natural. No, it's literally got like... Right. Whenever I had dry skin, this is what I would always use because two things. One, it's super, super, super hydrating, uh, which you would expect from a moisturiser. But two, it's also really, really, really thin. So if you've got... Um, if you're prone to congestion or clogged pores or prone to spots, this is not going to clog your pores. This is going to glide right over the top, keep your skin moisturised, keep your skin hydrated, and it's not going to give you new breakouts. So I would genuinely really recommend this for acne prone or oily skin. You can get it on Look Fantastic, you can get it in Boots. It's super affordable, it's super accessible, and I think it's a great option. Minus all the ingredients. We're just going to, we're just going to breeze over that. Do I have any more skincare goodies in here? This is a skincare product. I'm not gonna rate this, I'm gonna be honest. This is the La Roche-Posay Retinol B3 Serum. I think it's about 40 pound, honestly. And obviously it is a small bottle, it is retinol, which is a more expensive ingredient, but I'm gonna be honest, this kind of did nothing. It's a 0.3%, I believe. It doesn't actually say on the bottle, which is super annoying. I believe it's a 0.3%, correct me if I'm wrong, so it's quite a low strength retinol, so I wasn't expecting it to like change the game, change my skin and like revolutionise my life, but it just did absolutely like nothing, like nothing whatsoever. I know you've got to use things for a long time, you've got to use them consistently, but I used this full bottle and I didn't enjoy it anywhere near as much as I'd enjoyed other retinols in the past. I just wouldn't recommend this, I don't think it does anything, 0.3%, yes it's low, but it's just... It just wasn't it for me. And for £40, I think you can get much better things out there for a fraction of the price because if you're going to be replacing this every couple of months, it's a lot of dollar. It is a lot of dollar to spend. You want to see results after you've used one full bottle. So this would be a pass from me. I do love you, La Roche-Posay. You do have some gorgeous products. This one ain't it. Oh, I'm getting a bad back. I'm like an old woman, honestly. Like, does anyone else, like my age just feel like every time they stand up it's like oh e ah e ting tang walla walla bing bang like it's just it's just a lot more skincare this is the ula henriksen strength trainer peptide boost moisturizer and what i will say is 10 10 10 10 for you ula henriksen ula henriksen this was absolutely gorge i think this came in a set to be honest like a purple set i know they've got like the orange ones the vitamin c i'm sure like the yellow ones like the banana range the blue ones like the nighttime range i'm not really sure but every single color is like a certain situation this is absolutely gorgeous i love moisturizers with peptides in so good for the skin this was super thick so i would only usually use this on a nighttime. it's just gonna work its magic while you sleep and this was honestly absolutely stunning i actually forgot about this and I've just been reminded by it by being in this basket. So this would actually be a repurchase for me. Skincare is something I will always invest in. Skincare and self-care is something I will always invest in. Like, if it doesn't work, fine, I won't buy it again. But if it does work, it's always worth the money to me. Like, I want to look 20 when I'm 50. And I want to try and do it naturally. Like, yeah, Botox and filler, it's great and all that. But if I can do it just through using skincare, chef's kiss for me. This skincare product changes the game. This brand is 10-10 for me. I think this is one of the best skincare brands out there. It's one of the most expensive skincare brands out there, naturally, but I think it's the best. I've never tried a product from this brand that I don't love. This is the Elemis Pro Collagen Oxygenating Night Cream. This is a pretty penny. I think this is like 90 pounds, something like that. And it's a 50, it's a 30 milliliter tub. I might be getting that wrong. It might be £90 for the 50 milliliter. Basically, it's pricey. Everything Elemis is pricey because it's just good. It really is just good. And I'm not saying you can't get good skincare at an affordable price because you can. Brands like The Ordinary, brands like The Inky List, they are good. But if you want that kind of luxury, if you want to do your skincare and feel like you're in a spa, that luxurious kind of real self-care feeling, Elemis, Elemis is the brand. This Pro Oxygen collagenating night cream whatever it's called used every single scrap of this bought it again used it again loved it this is the thickest most luxurious nighttime moisturizer that when you put it on you just feel like you've just slicked your face and just like just gorgeousness and it really just hydrates overnight you wake up in the morning you can kind of still feel it on your face in the morning in a way of like it hasn't dried your skin out it's just elemis is just 10 10 if you're in the market to really kind of level up your skincare game spend a little bit extra money and just kind of add that luxury 
into that part of your daily routine, try some products from Elemis because you won't regret it. Should we move on to hair care? I think we shall. I am a flaky scalp girl. I don't know if it's psoriasis. I don't really know the difference between psoriasis and just like general dandruff, to be honest, but I get kind of really dry, flaky scalp all the way along the front here. And it also goes down the center, like down where my parting is. And when you've got like basically black hair, that can be really, really quite annoying. So I have tried every single shampoo under the sun to try and get rid of that. Tea gel, I've tried this, I've tried some more expensive ones. And this just really didn't do it for me. So this is the Alpacin Double Effect Caffeine Shampoo. Apparently protects against hair loss and dandruff. This did absolutely nothing. And again, I know you've got to use products for a long amount of time before you see a difference, but for using a whole bottle, it wasn't worth me repurchasing it. It did absolutely nothing for me whatsoever. I have seen some girls say that they absolutely love this for their dry scalp, but I just, it wasn't it for me. It's super affordable. I think it's like a tenner, something like that. But I have found that the more expensive products do work better for my dry scalp. If you can recommend any dry scalp products though, please do let me know because I'm always in the market to help my dry scalp because in the winter, it gets bad. My hair might as well be white in the winter. Sticking with the hair care, this, this is a 10, 10 product for me. This is the L'Oreal Alvive Dream Lens Wonder Water. I added this into my hair care routine and I really, really, really noticed a difference. I think some people kind of overlook hair care a little bit and they kind of focus on like skincare, but actually hair care and skincare on your body are actually just as important in my opinion. Like looking after the health of your hair, like you wanna keep your hair thick and healthy and long and just gorgeous really. And this is just a product that really does that. So this step comes in between your shampoo and your conditioner in the shower. So you wash your hair and then you kind of just take this off, squeeze it all over the length of your hair. And then it's really strange, you massage it in and it goes really hot. Like the, I don't know what's in it, what ingredients are in this, but the, like it really heats up your hair and your hair gets really hot so it's doing something and then when you rinse it out your hair just feels so silky so smooth and if you incorporate this into every single wash it really does have lasting effects again super affordable you can get it in boots i think like again around 10 pound kind of price mark and it's just gorgeous it's just something so easy to add into your hair care routine i really struggle with the products that i like apply to wet hair and then wash because what do you want me to do? Get in the shower, wet my hair, get out, put the product in, then get back in to wash my hair. I love hair care as much as the next girl, but that is just a lot of extra steps. So this is one you can do when you're already in the shower, you're already washing your hair, you're already wet. Just do it while you're in there. You don't have to like get out, get back in. It's just, it's just easy, you know? Another hair care product. This has been in my empties again because I've been using this product for years. It's the L'Oreal Extraordinary Oil, the fine coconut oil. That's super, super important when you buy this to buy the fine coconut oil. I find with a lot of hair oils, once you put them in, you've just washed your hair, you've got out, your hair's gorgeous, it's silky. You put the oil in and it's sticky and greasy again. Can you imagine the fury? The absolute fury. This doesn't do that. This will keep your hair looking gorgeous and silky Add in that extra little bit of shine without making your hair greasy and oily. One pump does enough. You can, you can maybe stretch it to two if you're feeling extra fancy, but don't be saturating your hair with this. But the fine coconut oil, that's the important word, doesn't make it thick and kind of claggy and greasy. It just adds an extra little bit of shine. We have one more hair care product. This again has been in my empties before. And I think I said the same thing then and I'm gonna say the same thing again now. Does this work? I don't know. Do I keep being conned into buying it in the hopes that it does work? Yes. This is the Grow Gorgeous um, Intense Hair Growth Serum for fine and thinning hair. So I think this is about £40, so it is going to set you back. However, this bottle does last a good couple of months because you only need a tiny amount every single day. I just, it's one of those products I just can't tell whether it works or not. You know when you like implement a whole new like fitness routine or like a whole new diet and you're like, Something is like made my skin better, but you just don't know what it is. Like, is it the vitamins? Is it that you're drinking more water? Is it your new skincare routine? Like you just can't pinpoint what it is. My hair was in really, really good condition when I was using this. And I just can't pinpoint whether it came down to this or not. So I did repurchase it. I think I purchased this a couple of times just because I was like, if it is this, I want to keep at it. But since I've stopped using it, I don't really think it was this. I'm not saying that it didn't work, but I'm just saying that it didn't change the game enough for me to keep buying this forever. Yeah, I think you can grow your, hairs, grow your hair in other ways by using good quality shampoo, conditioner, um, more affordable hair oils. I don't think you need to spend £40 on this little bottle. 
I'm sorry, Go Gorgeous. I do love your other products, but this one just, yeah. Next up, we have body care, which I really neglected for a long period of my life, and I feel like a lot of other people still neglect, but is there anything worse than when your legs out and they're like dry and scaly and just like crocodile skin? You don't want that. You want to be like smooth and glowy and just gorgeous. So I started investing time in moisturising and honestly, I've never looked back. I have decided that every single day when I get out of the shower, I'm going to moisturise before I put my clothes on, my pyjamas on, whatever it is. Do I do it every single day? No. But again, it's what you do 90% of the time, not what you do What's the saying? I don't know. I don't do it 100% of the time, but I do it enough, okay? One of my favorite moisturizers to use is the Cocoa Butter Daily Skin Therapy Moisturizer. This is by Palmer's. They have like a whole range of Cocoa Butter, and this one is super, super thick, super, super luxurious, and just feels like a huge drink for your skin. It does take a long time to dry down, so this I would only use if I kind of didn't need to get dressed straight away and I was going to just sit around in my dressing gown, or I would just use it on the really dry areas like elbows, knees, that kind of thing, and then use something a little bit lighter on the rest of my body because it does take a long time to dry down. But I tell you when it is amazing is if you've been in the sun all day, if you're on holiday or you live somewhere hot and you've been in the sun all day, this is 1010 for really rehydrating your skin because your skin gets so dry when you're in the sun and if you don't rehydrate it you're going to lose your tan you're going to age all the things so this is really 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 good for that and plus it smells amazing it smells like cocoa butter what is on the tin oh my back honestly i feel like an 80 year old woman now this this product i'm about to put you on and if i had like a million followers this would sell out and i probably wouldn't say anything i would probably get keep because this is like this is the secret. Like if you want glowy, gorgeous, hydrated skin that looks like wax, this is the secret, right? So I don't know if I've spoke about this before, but it's, it's the shit basically. It is the Body Shop Nourishing Body Butter in Coconut. This is the one, take note ladies, the Body Shop, this one. Okay, this will change your skin. Again, if you're on holiday, it's super, super thick. It's like a body butter rather than like a lotion. So if you're on holiday and you've got dry skin after sitting out in the sun, this will rehydrate your skin like no other. It smells gorgeous. It smells like coconut sun cream, just deliciousness. And I made a pack to myself. Again, I was gonna put this on every single day. And after like a month, two months of using this every single day, your skin will just be glowing. Like even when it's not on your skin, like your skin is just so supple, so soft, so glowy, so gorgeous. Like this will honestly transform the skin on your body. Like it will just never be dry again. Like really do, trust me. Again, because it's so thick, it takes a long time to dry down. So if you have to get dressed straight away, I probably wouldn't use this. I would use it and like really give it time to soak in or just use it very, very sparingly. But it's honestly just like, Top 10 products, I would say. Would I? Yeah, I'm gonna back it. Top 10 products. You can get it from the body shop, but I think it'd be being quite pricey in there. I think it's like 20 pound in there. I always try and find mine in TK Maxx. TK Maxx has the goods, let me tell you. You can get amazing skincare, um, body care, hair care, all of that in TK Maxx for a super reduced price. Obviously, it's not in there all of the time, but if you ever buy a TK Maxx, do just pop in because they'd be having them in there for like, eight pound nine pound something like that so you can get them for half price and if they're in there just stock up because this will never come in wrong like this will never this will never do you wrong this camera overheating is going to really send me i've had enough i've had enough i'm gonna have to talk really fast to get through the rest of these products i have one more product on the body care and this is like a lazy girl's guide to body care, okay? So when you get out of the shower, if you're in the UK, it's cold, right? I understand. You get in the shower, you're all cozy and warm and gorgeous. You get out and you're cold. You wanna get dressed as soon as possible. You don't wanna be standing there naked, letting your body moisturizer dry in, which is what you're gonna to have to do if you use this. You're gonna to have to put it on and then you're gonna to have to wait a while to get dressed. I understand the struggle, I do. So if you are a lazy girl and you wanna get out, you wanna get hydrated, get moisturizers, get, get moisturized, get dressed and move on with your life, this is what you need. 
you need a body moisture spray. So this one is an oil. So it says ultra light moisture mist infused with jojoba and sweet almond oil. This one's by Sanctuary Spa. Again, I got this from TK Maxx, honestly for about, I think it was four pounds, something like that. And this is just unreal. Get out of the shower, whip your towel off, all over. I don't even rub it in. I just spray, 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 spray. Wait like 30 seconds, let it just sink in, get dressed, go. Live your life and you are moisturized, oily, gorgeous. It doesn't leave like a residue where you feel like, like you've got something on your skin. It just soaks in super, super quickly, leaves you gorgeously moisturized and you can just live your lazy girl life. Now, if you wanna be that girl, you could double up. You could moisturize your entire body with this, let it sink in and then put this on the top. That is the ultimate combination. That is gonna give you like the soft skin, but, if you're like me, you don't want to do that every single time. You want to just like move on, get in a spray like this. And this brand is a good one. It doesn't have to be this one, but just getting an oil spray that soaks in quite quickly that you can just and leave. Changes the game. I've spoke about these numerous times before. I'm probably going to have to stop talking about them, but it is the Bath and Body Works hand sanitizers. I've got three in here that I've just randomly threw in. Um, I've probably went through about seven million and they're just unreal. You just chuck them in the bag, in your handbag, chuck them in your car, just put them in your pocket, whatever, if you're out and about and you just wanna wash your hands. Quick little squirt, they're a perfect little compact size, they smell gorgeous, and it's just a fun little way of washing your hands. Like the Kerox ones are cute, but like, are they really? These ones, you can have like peach bellini, you can have strawberry shortcake, you can have vanilla sugar, like you can have a cute little fun scent and it just feels a little bit extra you know okay i have four more products i'm going to try and whistle stop to a, through them this one is a body mist it's not spoken about enough i've never heard anyone talk about it but if you want to smell like a delicious coconut vanilla sugar sun cream sunset this is the body spray for you this is the hawaiian tropic golden paris fragrance mist i believe this is from superdrug there's a tiny bit left oh, give it to me come on I kind of get it. Oh, it's just like holiday. Oh, it's just like the last day of holiday. You wear in white. You've had the best time. You're glowy. You've got a pina colada. Everything's perfect. Like it's just bottled. It's just the perfect holiday night in a bottle. And if you wear this on holiday, oh, I just you need to go and smell it. You need to smell this. And I love the fact that it's a mist rather than a perfume. So you can wear your normal perfume. You can wear your scented body butters. You can wear all your things and then just put this absolutely everywhere. Just inject it all in your hair, all over your clothes. Like just put it everywhere. And trust me, you will not regret this. Like this is just the perfect holiday scent. And because it's so affordable, you can just go through the whole bottle in one night, to be honest, just, just do that. Right, we have three makeup products. The first one I wanna talk about is the set and spray and truthfully, the state of this is like, I'm absolutely disgusting. But this is the Urban Decay De-Slick set and spray. I hear everyone talking about the Urban Decay All Nighter set and spray, but what about the oily girlies? I don't hear anyone talking about the Urban Decay De-Slick set and spray. So this is basically exactly the same as the All Nighter one, but for oily skin. So it's gonna do exactly what the other one does, but it's just gonna give you more of that matte finish, which if you are a shiny girl like me, you're really gonna appreciate. So if you use all night air and you're just like, mm, I get really oily after an hour or two, swap it out and try the de-slick one. Cause I really just don't hear anyone talking about this, but it really is, it really is good. These last two products are the GOAT. If you don't know about them, you need to get to know about them. I'm sure you already do. And you're already like, you are just like a million miles behind and just like grow up basically. But they're the OGs, and they're the OGs for a reason. Tarte Shape Tape, I have gone through 75 million bottles of this. I will never not use this. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care what any of the new trends are. Tarte Shape Tape is the OG. This is the best concealer in the entire world. This is in the shade Light Medium. I always get this shade. They did actually bring out the Tarte Shape Tape Ultra Creamy, which I did swap for. It's basically the same thing. I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's very, 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 very similar. But this is just the original one. If you are in the market for it, just buy the ultra creamy one. It can't do you any harm, but it's all the same. But it's the OG concealer, honestly, it really is. Even down to the wand, like the wand, I remember when it first came out, they were the first brand to do like this giant doe foot applicator like that rather than the little one. And it just, 
just slaps to be honest there's nothing else to say about it last but not least is the og mascara the best mascara to ever exist will it ever be topped i don't think so it's the l'oreal telescopic mascara this one has been used and abused it doesn't even have a name on it anymore to be honest i don't know why it's silver they are usually black it's in the shade black i don't know why this bottle is silver i have no idea but this mascara slapped it has the best wand in the world for separating your lashes it's super fine it makes them super long and then if you go in with a mascara that clumps you can go in with an empty one of these separate it all through it just gives you the best spider lashes in the entire world and if you don't know about this mascara have you been living under a rock because go and buy it camera's overheating once again that's it that's all of my empties that i had to share with you all i hope you cared that wraps up this video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed this throwback to 2016 with the mts do let me know if you are enjoying the mts i will keep up with the mts because truthfully i enjoy filming them if you think girl what's wrong with you grow up like get with it that is just not cool anymore then also do let me know because i'm just trying to keep up you know i'm trying to keep up with the girlies that are they just know what's up okay so just let me know yeah i'm so happy to be back i'm really enjoying filming content for you guys at the minute let me know what you want to see thank you so so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye bye